Austin Williams able to adapt to it. He might be going uh, secondary, honestly. He Maybe the be, hero. Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. All right, Manuel, both players here are set. For those of you guys wondering what happened in between uh, Best Ness and yeah, between Best Ness and uh, Leon, they are playing on the side stream here, so you guys can really check them out there. But right now, it's going to be Salem versus Meister. Okay, and the Bayonetta. Okay, man. I'm you you I'm want to talk it. about the Nightmare on Smashville? This was the Nightmare on Smash Four. <laughs> Definitely. Double up there. Well, let's be honest. You know, now that Bayo has changed from Smash Four to Ultimate, right, and kind of got a few buffs this, this recent patch. You know, she's still gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Definitely a character that could be potentially a threat if and put in the right hands and given time. Nice. Oh. Perfect. That's punish. not as strong as it was in Houston Smash 4, but it does allow Salem to kind of come back on the stage. Rep tries to uh, heal slide right underneath the bomb, but. I love that. I love when Bayonetta's will just go stand there and then just do that jump uh, side B. It'll call out people jumping and catch them so well. Yeah. Oh no, and he tried to use that way to come back on the stage, kind of fake out the guns and slowly bring it back on Meister. Calls out Salem, says, you know what, I'm not going to fall for any of the shenanigans. Back in, this was Smash 4. Missed the back end. This is a pretty good punish against Salem. Meister takes advantage of that missed back air. Back throw. Oh, I like putting out the bucket. Uh, send the bullets back. No, miss the back air. That's, that's not going to kill. I was well, just going to say. Something's got to give, right? And at 175, that's the opportunity for Salem to finally get the stock here. Meister on the chase, making sure it's keeping up really well against Salem. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not really sure how Bane was going to kill, but Salem shut me right up. Getting into it. Salem needs to find a way over the uh, over the food. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Punish again. Four throw. Nice. Salem resets itself here. Does it go for any nair falling nair or falling up air? I I really would have liked to see him just like charge and F-Smash because it's disjointed, but right. bullets were an interesting option. Right. Mike's going all the way out for that up, uh, that back air. I mean, right, he doesn't want to leave that much of an evening in between him and Salem. Salem knows, you know what, I can play the patient game. I love his patience. Yeah. He's just he standing there letting uh, letting Lash do his thing and then finding his moment to go in. And he finally gets the back air, man. Salem one step closer to winning game one here. Meister still not that far behind. He's able to take care, take care of the stock in Salem. He could find himself back in the money. Great, great weight too, honestly. Yeah, those bullets were really, uh, not, not what I expected. Yeah. Another Nair, he comes back on the stage. I do like the fact that Sim's kind of backing off. He doesn't want to get caught by like Meister get grabbed. Exactly. What you want to do? Tries to get that side D out of shield, but not hitting him. Oh, that was so. That was such the perfect way to get off the ledge against Game One. That man directional air dodge right back into Meister's hands. He had no reason to go for that man. He is. He is thought he escaped the jaws of death, but he just went right back Dom. into it, and that forward air is not going to be enough. Salem still surviving. I would like to maybe see him turn the down smash there. That would have spiked, especially if he was air dodging in. Looking for that little bit of patience. This is so tense, and this is anyone's game. He's not falling for Meister standing for up smashes too. Up the out of shield. Oh, and then Meister turns that around back into his favor. Seal him still at 109%. He tried, I was going to say, he's going to go for up smash or a side B. And what a call out. The end lag from the multi jab. Mm -hmm. Salem, we're going to find this answer against Meister. This is a character we haven't seen perform in quite some time. And Salem looking to bring her out for this matchup. Yeah, ended up taking that first game.
Really a uh, unfortunate jab. He obviously wanted to hit him, you know, to, to punish uh, the neutral get up, but not gonna hit. Surprised he let go of it that early too. Probably was scared of Salem rolling behind him. Salem was just standing there waiting. All right, well, let's go here into game two. Salem with the first point on the board. Meister yet to have put in anything. Meister kind of had an interesting time trying to figure out how Bayonetta kind of works. Because <laughs> it's been a while, right? We haven't really seen Bayonetta in quite some time. And there is the witch time. Salem only gets such a small punish, but I mean, he kind of takes it over getting hit by Janet. Goes for Chef, and I like that Salem able to use that uh, afterburn to kick to actually come back on the stage and get away from the ledge. Kind of one of the things that were very reminiscent of a Bayonetta mean back in Smash 4, right? Using afterburn to kick to kind of find another option and another direction to come back on the stage. Right. Getting into it. This grab. Oh, that's very done. Not actually exploding yet. Salem, are we going to see a reversal? Yep, still damage coming in. He kind of gets us. He gets the Ethelbert kick and he comes back on the stage here, but he doesn't get too much of a combo afterwards. Oh, like oh. I said, I would. And you mentioned it earlier. It's this joint, and so what a challenge for Slim to actually hit him, try to hit Meister. Not only that, if you think about it right, you do take more damage while charging a smash attack. Mm -hmm. So Slim has the right play in mind. Yeah, it's the closest thing in this game to like a counter hit. Yeah. Oh, that bomb. To, yeah. But since Bayonetta doesn't really snap ledge that easy, a lot. It's going to be really easy for uh, Mice to put out those stairs if Sam King lays down his recovery. <laughs> I mean, oh, Salem is patience. sometimes, yeah, the patient assassin. Nice. Comes back with the other to kick. What a challenge against Meister, but he did misses that one. And Meister's going to take advantage. Gets a grab. Tries to send him keep him up in the air. Up but Salem. Up to back air. Not what I was expecting, but really clean from Salem. Only 30%. I love this pace that Salem has. You can't lose patience, especially against a character like Game Watch. Yeah, if there's any player to do it, it's Salem. He's known for his patience. He's willing to he's willing to play the clock if he needs to. Yeah. Oh, he goes extra low, and he even saved the second witch twist to make sure he comes back. And he gets the bat within to survive the actual back hit of down air. Miss grab. Nice, rolls away. If I were Meister, right, it's kind of like really hard to kind of catch Salem too because not only does he have Witch Time and he has the bat within, but he's also got Afterburner Kick. So if I were Meister, I'd try to accommodate for when he does go for Afterburner Kick off the ledge. Yeah. So, but Salem is kind of getting thrown around. He's trying to hit this ledge, but Meister's not making it easy. Finally gets him some stage control as I say that. Let's go back. Salem 157, Meister at 60%. Salem is not making it any easier. And Witch Twist able to actually contest against Down Air. Nice. Salem kind of waits to see how Meister's going to go ahead and try to edge guard him with Down Air. Wait a minute, back there's coming in. Oh, my man took him. My man showed him the bottom of the heel. Honestly. Out there slowly building damage, but not going to kill. Nice, he went with an empty hop, but a back air that's going to put the stock here in Meister's favor. 2-1. Finally going to take, yeah, fun take here for that second stock. Now Meister's going on the offensive, gets one air. Up there. As I said, Vance getting taken for a ride. <laughs> so far, the other one taking Salem for a ride is honestly going to be Meister, but he called oh. out that kind of recovery, right? That's a call out if I've ever seen one. But no, like he doesn't want to go to the ledges, right? Because you think about how Leo can actually get you from the ledge as well. But sometimes it's better to go back to the ledge and to try to land on your opponent. You do get that ledge invincibility. This is so scary for Salem. You can't really make a mistake against Game Watch. Can't jump on him because up smash. Salem looking to watch himself, comes back with the wish. What a good opportunity here because it's got such a great startup, especially out of shield, and it can combo into another one. Oh, down tilt, and it's such a hard angle to actually be able to DI that one, especially at the ledge. You have to kind of give it up to Meister. He was looking at all his options, and he finally said, you know what, down tilt here is the one thing I've not hit Salem with. How can he be ready? You really can't. And, uh, definitely, How can my man be ready? Definitely a bad uh, 
bad witch time from Salem. Mm -hmm. Salem probably expecting uh, the frying pan to come out, but it's a little too preemptive on the swing. So Salem's going to be staying with the Bayonetta. I don't see any reason not to. I feel like Meister is not looking to get another character, but he's looking to see, okay, what are my options here, right? I mean, give me give me some time on this character select screen to find some new angle that I'm not getting from Salem, right? Yeah, it's let me one, digest one piece. This. Yeah, exactly. Three, Let's come back, formulate the game one, plan, and then we'll execute go. from there here, man. Let's go on to game three. Next thing option is going for the frying pan immediately, especially for the fact that Bayonetta could just uh, heel slide over it or do that down to like we just saw. Nice. Tries to go for a forward there, but I mean, it doesn't have enough hit stun enough to actually be able to hit the game and watch. This back air, witch twist. Tries to just run up to him and up B. I like the idea. Alright, this direction matter has started and we have good team. Down tilt, nice, trying to fall off from the floor there. Right, up tilt, gonna work, so double trade. Yeah. yeah. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, like, Salem has been going from one of those options from down tilt to try to go fall off the floor there, but I mean, it doesn't seem to be working. I wanna see if he knows the percent properly or he's trying to mix it up here against Meister. I mean, he's gonna need all the, all the tricks in the cards. <laughs> Back there, not to kill yet, but oh my. Sa uh, Meister actually jumped out there to call out the fact that Bayonetta was going to be up there, but Salem fell a little too fast. Yep. Finally, Salem takes a stock back air. I mean, if Salem gets this one, I wouldn't be surprised to see a game five. Oh, he waited. He waited. He said, no, man, you come to me. Nice. We send some at the ledge. He doesn't want to get combo by game watch. Nice. Another afterburner kick. See, I'm trying to put this man in a ride. He's making up for lost percents here. Gets the heel slide. He's more than made up for these lost percents. Yeah. That man's trying to win back his tournament money. That's going to be real. Give me that. <laughs> Uh, yo, man, I didn't know pop bonus, but I'm just like, you know, man, I ain't trying to finish this trip for nothing. I ain't come here. I ain't come here to lose. <laughs> right. Oh, which time? And then barely slips through the cracks, able to survive. Yep, there we go, oh, like I said. Finally, the forward smash is not enough to kill Meister. Down smash? Nope. Thank God I didn't bury Salem. That definitely would have been it. Back air. Salem? The thing here about Salem, too, is like we mentioned earlier, he's very, very patient. He knows when to try to frustrate his opponents and have them bring patience here. And so far, Meister is not falling for it. And Salem here, finally able to get the stock. Two stocks apiece to one. Meister striking back. He knows, you know, I don't want to let Salem have such a lead for such a long time. But taking a lead, already gone. Even stocks last. Uh, Last percent here for both players. All right, gets a bit of conversion. Put this man off stage. Okay, but here we go. Fortunately, Game of Watch will not be taking Bayonetta for a ride. That that's within has been so helpful so far this set. Yeah. Again, calling out the fact that Meister was jumping with that aerial ABK. Nice. See, kind of sneaks in that ABK and kind of brings it around to Meister. This is so scary. Both players honestly in danger of dying. Game of Watch gets one down smash. Burial at 50. At now, it will kill. Yeah, and the fight for game three is a fight to be had, honestly, because it puts you one game closer mm -hmm. to closing out the set. So. <laughs> I mean, I respect it, right? You don't want to just quiet land yet on Meister because we know he's got the up smash, he's got the grabs, he's got the down tilts, he's got down smash. But look what's happening to Salem. He's literally trying to be in the air, but 
He took so much damage for trying to avoid being on the ground. Yeah, and sometimes you start to ask yourself, is it worth me setting up the ledge? Damn. Oh, oh my god. He said air dodge right into him for no reason. But wanted to cross him up, like kind of mix him up with where he's going to land, but Meister just sat there and reacted. Yeah, Meister moving up 2-1 against Salem. Salem, though, he kind of had that pretty close the last game. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll both play for a little bit of thought. All right, Salem, going to be of a bit of a character switch here, going to Shulk. The, the Salem Shulk. Well, the last time I saw the Shulk was actually over uh, in his battle against... I the Buzz? Yeah, I want to say it was the Buzz. When he up-tilted him at 80? Yep. And Salem Three, did win that two, one. <laughs> one go. Now we're going to be seeing Shulk versus Game & Watch. I have no idea how this matchup goes. You're, you're the one who talks to Nico. <laughs> I mean, it all depends on how Salem can uh, manage the, the Monado Arts. Mm -hmm. Immediately goes into shield. But it's also the meta game too. Like, what what does Salem prefer? Or, you know, which are at which percent? Each show player has a little bit of a different thought. So far, we haven't really seen too many Monados coming out from Salem. But just as I speak so, he goes to Buster Art. Does a little bit of more shield pressure and more percents. Mm. Jump Art does make you all floaty. It's going to allow him to come back on the stage, and it does. At the same time, you are taking a little bit more damage. So Already 142%. Salem not looking too good right now. Yeah, I'm making you wonder if this pickle's even the right call at all. And again, I'm not going to count Salem out just yet. Still has some time to work with. Uh, what he's got. Yeah. Jump. Speed. Speed. Now he's got to decrease jump height to able to hit the aerials a little bit differently. Oh, he missed the forward air. That would have been really crucial to kind of put Meister off the stage. I'm actually going for the Buster Art as he was landing. Oh. Backslash, why not? <laughs> not even the back hit, too, where it would have done extra knockback. And Meister sneaks back in here. And I wonder, it makes me ask, how much Salem practices against Game of Watch? You know, could be an opportunity where he doesn't play against Game of Watch that often. Mm -hmm. Go for an air. Nice. Not, not enough shield pressure. And this allows Salem to go for a grab. Smash art. There's blood in the water. And if Salem wants to catch, find a, finally find the catch of the day, man, this might be it. And Salem is still having trouble getting off his first stock. Back there, not even going to be the sweet spot, so not even going to kill. Miss grab. <laughs> I'm really surprised we're not seeing many uppies out of shield as I say it. I mean, you, you don't want to overuse it, especially on Shulk. It's not that great. It's more of a get off me option if he gets crossed up. But for Game & Watch, that's something I'm really questioning in myself. Nice up throw. Finally, we see the uppie. Not an uppie out of shield. Nice is getting a lot of grabs right now. Not going to kill yet. Cross the stage. 140%. You hate to see Game & Watch living this long. You hate to see it in general, honestly. You hate to see Game and Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Finally getting off that first stock. I like how uh, I like that Meister was waiting there. You just want to run the clock out on the jump art. Buster art. I like it. Switch to shield. Doesn't want to get juggled. Finally, hits the hit of air slash. You mentioned it earlier, right? Where's the Game and Watch up being finally connected? And now, uh, Shulk just uh, mashing that Nair on the ledge. You know what, actually? Sam's kind of starting to bring this back. He's getting some good percent in. Yeah. Smash Art. He's looking for that forward air. He's got Maestro at that 102% shield art. Yeah. I, I feel like a percent here, Salem is switches to different Monado arts just because, you know, he knows at this property this will fit the situation best. Mm -hmm. Oh, untackable. untackable. Unfortunate. Meister now moving up two stocks to one in this last game. Sam's going to need to find an answer if he wants to bring this back. And a, no punish on the up B. Yep. Shield art. Adjust. Even though that's mixed with the heaviest character, doesn't mean you're not susceptible to being juggled. No, no landing there for Salem. Ooh, good parry on the Nair. Still getting uh, on the fair. 
Oh, down I, am so, <laughs> I have no idea how that missed. You know how I missed? Meister believed. He's like, if, if I get this here, man, I move on. I win this 3 1 here. Nice. Uh, that all was right, old that technique I have not I seen since Smash 4. I did not know he had the Trixies on deck. Back throw, not going to kill. Oh, Smash already even ran out. Sam looking a little desperate to get this kill now. He needs this so he can be able to bring it back, but Meister's not making it easy. Yeah. Let's say that. You know what? Let's just down air for no reason. <laughs> Nice. At this point, we're starting to see Meister use a little bit of uh, spacing. Mm -hmm. Trying to know, okay, man, this is how short space is. If I can get around this, I can definitely start to take a stop. Up tilt, nice. Those up tilts kind of put in some percent here against my uh, Meister. Oh, my man, Meister's hungry for Salem here. He wants it. He's so close. He was down so much, but, you know, he slowly brought it back. Yeah. And we all know uh, once Joe gets you to that percent, it's it's going to be dangerous. Yeah. Why not? Backslash coming in. Now, this is the vibe check. <laughs> back throw, not going to kill. Salem finally getting off the smash art. Jumps right into the dash pack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spike. In a second attempt. He actually just immediately left. Mike's going to uh, close that one out 3-1 to, uh, to win the set.